Hello students, I am Sunil Bhagliwal. I welcome all of you to the lecture of Pharmaceutical Engineering from PharmaLife Academy. The topic of the lecture is size reduction. Students, in the previous lectures, we studied definition of size reduction, objectives of size reduction, advantages and disadvantages of size reduction, mechanisms of size reduction. In mechanisms, we studied cutting, impact, in compression and attrition. In today's lecture, we will study loss governing requirement of energy for the process of size reduction. These laws are Kick's law, Rittinger's law and Bond's law. Students, if you think that this lecture is helpful to you in your study, then please subscribe to the channel Formalife Academy. Students, now let's discuss loss governing size reduction. These laws are about the energy and power requirement of size reduction process. Size reduction is very energy inefficient process. Whatever energy we put into the machine, only 1% of it is used in the process of size reduction and the remaining 99% is lost through deformation of particles with fracture deformation of particles without fracture, uh, distortion of machine, friction between particles, friction between machine parts, then noise, vibration and heat. Many theories and laws have been given to predict the energy requirement of a size reduction process, but none is accurate. The basic assumption of all this law is the energy required to produce a change DL in a particle of size L is a simple power function of L that is d upon dl equals to kl raised to power p. Now let's try to understand this basic assumption. Suppose this is a particle with original size of 10 cm. Original size that means size before reduction. Now we will change this size by 5 cm. This 5 cm is dl. Now as per this equation, d is the energy required for the uh, size reduction of this particle. dl is 5 cm. k is a proportionality constant which depends on this material. l is original size that is 10 cm and t is the exponent. The three laws of size reduction are Kick's law, von Rittinger's law and Bond's law. As per Kick's law, the energy required for the size reduction is directly proportional to the size reduction ratio that is dl upon L. As per the von Rittinger's law, the energy required for the size reduction process is directly proportional to the increase in size surface area of the particles. And as per Bond's law, energy required for the size reduction is inversely proportional to the square root of the diameter of particles produced. Students, now let's discuss Higgs law. As per the assumptions of laws governing size reduction, the energy required to produce a change dl in a particle of size l is simple power function of L that is dE upon dL is equal to kL raised to power P. We discussed this statement previously. As per Kick's assumption, the energy required for size reduction is directly proportional to the size reduction ratio that is dL upon L. As per Kick's assumption, the value of P in equation 1 is minus 1. Minus 1. Why minus 1? Because Kick's assumption doesn't talk about exponent. That's why we can consider it as 1. Now suppose dl is 5 and L is 10. So, 
dl upon l will become 1 by 2 and we can write this 1 by 2 as 2 raised to power minus 1 so we can consider it as minus 1 now if k is equals to kk fc where kk is kicks constant and fc is crushing strength of the material we get d upon dl is equal to kk fc l raised to power minus 1 that is equation 3 on integration this equation will give us a equals to kk fc log e l1 upon l2 this is the Kicks law statement now here l1 is average initial size of particles and l2 is average size of reduced particles l1 upon l2 is size reduction ratio for coarse grinding this size reduction ratio is less than 8 is to 1 and for fine grinding it should be more than 100 is to 1 as per the equation 4 which is the statement of Kick's law the energy required to crush a material say from size 100 micron to 50 micron is the same as the energy required to crush the same material from size 50 micron to 25 micron Students, now let's try to understand von Rettinger's law As per this law the energy required for the size reduction is directly proportional to the change in surface area. This statement or this law is based on change in surface area. Kick's law is based on change in length dimension. Note this difference. In Rittinger's law, it is based on change in surface area. In Kick's law, change in length dimension. Now, we know area is equal to square of the length. Therefore, the value of P in this equation will become minus 2. If K is equal to KRFC, where KR is Rittinger's constant and FC is crushing strength of the material. If we replace this K with KRFC, then we will get D upon DL is equal to KRFC L raised to power minus 2. On integration, we will get D upon DL is equal to KRFC in bracket 1 upon L2 minus 1 upon L1. This is the Rittinger's statement. Rittinger's law ignores deformation before fracture. Applications of Rittinger's law. This equation applies precisely only under the conditions that the energy required for size reduction per unit of surface area is independent of the particle size. This equation is applied mostly for brittle materials. It is less applicable if appreciable deformation occurs. Students, now let's try to understand Bond's law. Bond's law stresses that the energy required for the size reduction is inversely proportional to the square root of the diameter of the particle produced. Bond's law is an intermediate between the Kick's law and Rittinger's law. Kick's law is most accurate for coarse grinding and Rittinger's law is most accurate for fine grinding. Bond suggests the value of P as minus 3 by 2. And the equation is 
ए इक्वल्स टू ई आई अंडर हंड्रेड अपॉन एल टू इन ब्रैकेट वन माइनस वन अपॉन अंडर रूट क्यू हियर एल शुड बी मेजर्ड इन माइक्रॉन्स ई आई इज वर्क इंडेक्स एंड क्यू इज रिडक्शन रेशो दैट इज एल वन अपॉन एल टू वर्क इंडेक्स वर्क इंडेक्स इज अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी रिक्वायर टू रेड्यूस द साइज ऑफ यूनिट मास ऑफ द मटेरियल फ्रॉम एन इनडेफिनेट साइज पार्टिकल टू द साइज ऑफ हंड्रेड माइक्रॉन्स अप्लीकेशन ऑफ बॉन्स लॉ इट इज यूज फॉर रफ मिल साइजिंग एंड फॉर कंपेरिंग एफिशियंसी ऑफ साइज रिडक्शन ऑपरेशन नाउ लिमिटेशंस ऑफ लॉज ऑफ साइज रिडक्शन दैट इज लिमिटेशंस ऑफ किक्स लॉ रिटिंगस लॉ एंड बॉन्स लॉ सो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू मेजर द एरिया ऑफ वेरी फाइन पार्टिकल्स एंड द सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द क्रैक्स प्रेजेंट इन द लार्जर पार्टिकल्स रिमेन अनअकाउंटेड स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो in the next lecture we will study various factors affecting size reduction thank you very much